It's the calm before the storm, the quiet before the chaos. I'm taking a moment before Ipswich v Norwich in the East Anglian Derby. Welcome to the vlog. Fans of the two clubs have been waiting for this for four years. And if you hear anybody babbling on about the distance between the two clubs, don't listen to them. They're an idiot. This is massive. I suppose we'd better get straight to the elephant in the room. This has been a miserable fixture for Ipswich. It has been a long, long time since an Ipswich win. Yes, you can argue that the clubs have been in different divisions for half of that period, but there is no sugarcoat in the fact Ipswich had not beaten Norwich since 2009. And so this represents Ipswich's best chance in well over a decade. They are nine places above the Canaries in the table. They are absolutely flying in the automatic promotion picture. But it's never quite that simple, is it? It's a lunchtime kickoff over in Ipswich. Let's get little Arlo back home and let's head to the East Anglian Derby. Enid, are Ipswich going to beat Norwich today? Norwich today. Norwich today. Okay, I don't know what to make of that. We have touched down in Ipswich. Journey complete. I can feel the nerves. In about five minutes' walk, I'm going to be able to start to feel the atmosphere. Team news very soon. Ipswich, as I expected, Wolfenden returns. Clark over Williams at right back. It is the same Ipswich team that's pretty much been winning most of this year. Norwich far less settled, but they do have danger men. The two South Americans, Sarah and Nunez, obviously row and maybe it's a game for the type of player that Ashley Barnes is as well. They're all starting for the Canaries. We're less than an hour from kickoff. Ugh. We are in such a big game feel here. The sky cameras are here, ready for the East Anglian Derby in about half an hour. I feel sick. Here we go, absolutely red hot atmosphere. We're about to kick off in the East Anglian Derby. Oh my goodness, what a chance. Norwich had just been on top for two, three minutes. The play switches, burns into the box. It's a brilliant block, I think, by Big Duffy at the back. But Broadhead then on the next phase is clean through. He has to score 1v1. He drags it round the post. What a miss. What a let off for Norwich. 0 0, 20 guard. Oh, it's such a dominate in another chance for Broadhead again. It's all coming from that right hand side with. Where's Burns? It's on his right foot this time. It's not as easy a chance, but it is a good chance. Puts it wide of the post. Nil nil, 23 gone. Oh, this can't go on. It's Richard going to pay for this. It's another chance miss. Where's Burns here? Um, played in on the inside right position. He lashes it over the bar. It's Richard is finishing really, really poor, and they really should be leading in this game. Well, it got frantic, and there is the equaliser for Norwich. They don't really deserve to be level, but they are. Um, it looked like Ipswich have got it clear. They build up again from the right-hand side. There's two good crosses go into the box. The second one goes loose, and Johnny Rowe, quite acrobatic actually with the finish, just kind of hooks it in, and 40 up, 1-1. One, one. 
Oh, breathless stuff. 1-1 one, one, half time, but the story is Ipswich really letting Norwich off the hook there. Chance after chance after chance. Well, three big chances, two for Broadhead, one for Burns before the goal goes in, but just before half time, Norwich back in it. They have looked dangerous from set plays and it was two crosses in the box and Rowe on the back stick just hooking that one in for the equaliser. The play's been mainly with Ipswich, but the scores are level at half time and my heart cannot quite take it. One one. And would you believe it, Norwich have taken the lead right at the start of the second half. Just a long throw thrown in. I think it's Hurst, it's really poor. Turns his back on the throw, he's too concerned with the man. Falls down low, Rowe drives it in on the near post and just dribbles through into the net. And after all of those missed chances in the first half, Ipswich are behind and Johnny Rowe is on a derby day hat-trick. Ipswich one, Norris two. And there is the equaliser, our gone. Ipswich have been puffing and puffing, not particularly playing well. Uh, West Burns has pulled one out of the bag, right footed, driven low to guns right. It's a great finish. Now, maybe redemption for him as well as Broadhead. He was one of the ones who missed Chelsea in the first half. 2 2. Half an hour to go. 76 gone, tension is incredible. First yellow card has just come out for Wes Burns here. He's done well not to book anyone for this entire game. Referee McKenna is now going to the bench. It's going to be Harness and Hutchinson in for Ipswich. Burns and Chaplin out. McKenna makes his move 2 2. We are in to six minutes of stoppage time. Another three subs coming in for Ipswich. Will there be a late, late winner in this one? And that is that. Ipswich 2, Norwich 2. I suppose the headline's going to be Norwich still undefeated against Ipswich since 2009. But... A very different Derby affair than Ipswich fans have been used to. And it's a big sense of disappointment with a 2-2 draw there. In that first half, Broadhead, Broadhead again, and then Burns. Big chances, and it felt with the emotion of the day, Ipswich did need to get two goals up in order to win this game. And they never did. And those missed chances really come back to bite Ipswich on the backside. Johnny Rowe got the equaliser after Broadhead finally gave Ipswich the lead. The sort of fourth big chance that they'd had at nil-nil. But then so, so poor just after half time to go behind. That changed everything. That really gave Norwich the impetus they needed for the second half. And it's almost a compliment. We heard a big cheer from the Norwich fans. They're very happy with their point at the end. They've come as a year two parachute team against a newly promoted League One team with a tight 4-3-3 to get behind the ball and get some crosses in and some set plays. And frankly, they've scored from a cross and then a long throw in. So you actually have to say fair play to Norwich. They played the cards they were dealt and the cards they were dealt did involve Ipswich missing some big chances in the first half. Ipswich get it back to 2-2, two, two. but Norwich do manage to see the game out. One heart-stopping moment as the Canaries got a 96th minute uh, free kick there to bend into the box. Would have been the last kick of the game, and you just wondered whether they might nick it at the end there. But look, all square, and we move on, and the derby is done and dusted now, and we can forget about it all for a few months. I'm sure the Norwich fans will be very happy that they're unbeaten record is still going but really outside of the rivalry nothing much really changes for um, both clubs it's it's rare drop points for Ipswich who um, I think that's only the second time they've dropped points at Portman Road this season I think I'm right in saying that Leeds obviously won down here and it is Leeds next for Ipswich in this sapping Norwich Leeds Leicester run of three games but what I have to say about this team and Kieran McKenna is 
it would be incredibly churlish. I say disappointed. That's with all of the caveats that they have been absolutely magnificent this season. And this horrible run of games is now a defeat followed by four wins in a row, followed by a point there. So that is 13 points from six. So they're above the two points per game now going into the real business at the top of the table with the head-to-heads against Leeds and Leicester. So from an Ipswich point of view, disappointing on the day. Would have been great to end that rivalry and that um, East Anglian derby hoodoo with Norwich. But look, big picture, everything is grand and we will see where things are sat. If you could have gone top today, I know we're, uh, we're five to three now as I'm speaking to you and the 3 p.m. is obviously about to kick off. Leicester do not play until Monday night. But Leeds will be pleased. They might be able to make back two points with their home game now coming up. You'll know the result by the time you watch this probably against Coventry. From a Norwich point of view, honestly, I thought they played it quite well. Um, as I say, with, with no sense of disrespect, when they didn't have the ball, Norwich really tight, compact, 4-3-3, three, three, sat behind the ball. The possession, the numbers and everything says that they will be happy with what they got. They took their chances. Uh, Johnny Rowe with the two goals. And uh, we know you can look at statistics until you're, you're blue in the face. Um, what's the quote? Um, not everything you can count counts. And what counts you can't count sometimes. And um, taking your chances and then defending your boxes what Ipswich didn't manage to do, and Johnny Rowe um, with the two goals is a, a new Derby Day hero for those in yellow. But um, Norwich, it looks like they're persisting with David Wagner. I guess that's some credit in the bank for him today. He did not lose to Norwich, to Ipswich, excuse me. And I know there was a lot of reverse psychology going from the Norwich fans saying it was a guaranteed defeat. So if they were telling the truth, then it's a really good point for uh, Norwich today. And we'll see what happens in terms of bigger things at play there with their ownership and management and sporting director, et cetera, et cetera, as they look to rebuild and sort of reset really um, as a club. 2-2 two, two today. Um, let's all move on. Shake hands. Um, you can be a douchebag in the comments if you like, but hopefully I've um, called it right down the middle as I always try to. So um, do get involved in the comments. But um, yeah, uh, short, short patience for stupid comments today, um, frankly, will be given. Um, do stick with the channel as well. Click up here. I don't know what we're going to put up there. Maybe we'll get YouTube to recommend something. Lots of emotion expanded. I'm worn out. Thank you all for watching. It was Ipswich 2, Norwich 2 in the East Anglian Derby.